Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Isle of Wight Sinister Serenade Holly was a talented composer living on the serene Isle of Wight, nestled in the English Channel. She had always found inspiration in the island's rugged coastline, lush forests, and rich history. But one day, while exploring an ancient graveyard, she stumbled upon a forgotten tombstone inscribed with cryptic musical notes. Intrigued, she transcribed the melody into her composition notebook, unaware of the sinister forces she was about to unleash. As Holly began to flesh out the melody, she noticed an eerie sensation creeping over her. Strange whispers filled her mind whenever she played the haunting tune. Ignoring the growing unease, she poured herself into the music, convinced it would be her masterpiece. But with each note she penned, the veil between the living and the dead grew thinner. Unbeknownst to Holly, the melody she had unearthed was a cursed dirge, capable of summoning the spirits of the deceased. As her composition spread throughout the island, so too did the rest of souls drawn to the melody's siren call. It started subtly of first shadows flitting at the corner of her vision, whispers echoing through empty rooms. Holly brushed off the strange occurrences, attributing them to stress or lack of sleep. But as the spectral manifestations grew more frequent and malevolent, she could no longer deny the truth. Desperate to stop the haunting melody, Holly sought the help of local historians and spiritualists. Together, they uncovered the tombstone's dark history of a forgotten composer who had been accused of witchcraft and buried in unhallowed ground. His cursed composition, buried with him, had lain dormant for centuries until Holly unwittingly unearthed it. Armed with this knowledge, Holly knew she had to destroy the cursed melody before it consumed the island in darkness. But with each attempt to dismantle the composition, the vengeful spirits grew more furious, tormenting her day and night. As the Isle of Wight descended into chaos, Holly realized she was the only one who could put an end to the nightmare she had unleashed. With trembling hands, she returned to the graveyard where it all began, facing the malevolent presence head on. With a final, defiant chord, Holly shattered the cursed melody, burnishing the vengeful spirits back to the depths of the earth. But as the last note faded into the night, she knew the horrors she had witnessed would haunt her forever, a reminder of the dangers lurking in the shadows of the Isle of White Sinister Serenade. As the echoes of the cursed melody faded away, Holly stood alone in the graveyard, her heart pounding with a mixture of relief and dread. The air felt heavy with the lingering presence of the spirit she had unleashed, and she couldn't shake the feeling that they were watching her, waiting for a chance to strike back. With trembling hands, Holly gathered her strength and made her way back to her cottage on the edge of the forest. But even as she crossed the threshold, she knew the nightmare was far from over. That night, as Holly lay in bed, she was plagued by vivid nightmares of shadowy figures and mournful wails. Every creak of the floorboards, every whisper of the wind outside, sent shivers down her spine, reminding her of the horrors she had faced. Determined to put an end to the curse once and for all, Holly delved into her research, scouring ancient texts and legends for any clue that could help her break the sinister spell. But the deeper she delved, the more she realized that some secrets were better left buried. Weeks turned into months, and still, Holly found no respite from the lingering presence of the cursed melody. The once tranquil Isle of Wight had become a breeding ground for darkness its once cheerful inhabitants now living in fear of the vengeful spirits that roam the land. But amidst the chaos, Holly refused to give up hope. With each passing day, she grew more determined to find a way to rid the island of the curse she had unwittingly unleashed. She sought out the help of local shamans and mystics, willing to do whatever it took to break the hold of the sinister serenade. Finally, after months of tireless searching, Holly uncovered a forgotten ritual said to have the power to banish even the most malevolent spirits. With a mixture of trepidation and determination, she set out to perform the ritual, knowing that the fate of the Isle of Wight hung in the balance. As the moon rose high in the sky, casting an eerie glow over the island, Holly stood at the edge of the ancient graveyard where it all began. With the cursed melody echoing in her mind, she began a ritual, calling upon the ancient forces of light to vanquish the darkness once and for all. As she spoke the final incantation, a blinding light filled the night sky, illuminating the island in a dazzling display of power. 
and in that moment Holly felt the weight of the curse lift from her shoulders, replaced by a sense of peace she hadn't felt in months. As dawn broke over the Isle of Wight, Holly knew that the nightmare was finally over. The cursed melody had been silenced, and the vengeful spirits had been laid to rest. And though the memory of the horrors she had faced would stay with her forever, she also knew that she had emerged stronger, wiser, and more determined than ever before. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.